Parsons at the pit 23-yard line to go. Football at West Virginia University is more than just a game. Mountaineer football is cheerleaders and a mascot with a musket. It is filled with action on the field and reaction in the stands. Mountaineer football is a fast-running halfback with a fast-paced marching band to match. All in all, Mountaineer football means total emotional involvement for players, coaches, and the whole state full of fans. And in 1975, it was quite an experience. Field in Morgantown. This is Jack Fleming along with Woody O'Hara. West Virginia University football 1975. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. A jam-packed house for the West Virginia pit game on the campus of West Virginia University. Now well, we're going to have excitement. This ball game was sold out September 19 and everyone is here today for what could be a very very exciting football contest. And here come the West Virginia Mountaineers. Stage was set. ABC announcers Keith Jackson, Bud Wilkinson, Bill Fleming, and Jim Lantley were ready to telecast the game to millions of viewers. A whole state full of West Virginians were ready, too. Well, hundreds of balloons, gold and blue, of course, have been released high over the stadium and are drifting off to the northwest. And this crowd is really at a fever pitch for this afternoon's ball game. Many say it'll boil down to the kicking game. A late mistake, a late field goal could win it. The first half was a defensive masterpiece. But as the game progressed, there were brief offensive explosions that warned of a tremendous finish. started with the second half kickoff. Then Danny Williams passed to tight end Bubba Coker. took the Mountaineers close, and then... Pitt tied the game on this catch by Gordon Jones.
West Virginia came back. Giving it to Hardy Owens, the hole in the middle, oh, it's great to pass to Owens, he runs over a West Virginia touchdown, how about that? Hardy Owens found the hole through the middle, ran through the secondary, got away from everybody, Gallup 23 yards for a touchdown, and the Mountaineers go on the board with another big one. King Arthur has scored one for the Mountaineers. Mountaineer defense made great plays like Marshall's tackle against Dorset. But later, Pitt tied the game on a short pass. Steve Dunlap intercepted to give West Virginia another chance. But that chance faded with this fumble. Then came the dramatics. Kavanaugh gives it to Dorson and he is corralled beautifully. Hit by Rich Lukowski at the 16-yard line. Tony Dorson did not reach the line of scrimmage. Clock turning 45 seconds. Kavanaugh back. Kavanaugh throwing to the near sideline. Caught at the 20 and carried out of bounds by Gordon Jones. The split end. 31 seconds on the scoreboard clock in a 14-14 ball game. Kavanaugh fakes. Fires complete to the 25-yard line to the tight end, Jim Corbett. And he goes down and is covered at the 25-yard line. Larry Swider stands in his end zone. 18 seconds to go in a tie ball game. He'll have to punt it. Mark Burke is downfield. There's the snap to Swider. He gets it away. Wobbly. Burke at the pit 47 is caught and thrown. And West Virginia takes time with 10 seconds. Boy, this game has been something else. Absolutely something else. Here is Kendra making the draw to Owens and now throwing the bomb. There's an open man. Swinson on the far side. He's got it out of bounds on the far side of the field at the pit 23-yard line. Four seconds to go. Randy Swinson got the football, went out of bounds on the play, lost control of it out of bounds. It is a completed pass to the pit 22-and-a-half-yard line. Four seconds on a stop clock. Holy mackerel. Can you believe this? Bill McKenzie is on. He is two for five in field goal. From the 28, it will be a 38-yard attempt. The snap. McKenzie kicks it. It is long enough. McKenzie kicks it. It is good. The ball game is over. McKenzie kicks a 38-yard field goal in the final play of the football game. There's a mob seat out on the field. The Mountaineers, the Mountaineer fans, what a mob seat. You haven't seen anything like it. Bill McKenzie kicks a 38-yard field goal on the final play of the football game. West Virginia moving the ball down to the pit 22-and-a-half-yard line on a pass to Randy Swinson. And then... The field goal drive by McKenzie. I can't believe it. McKenzie, the sophomore from Orwood, with the biggest kick of his young career. So the Mountaineers had beaten Sun Bowl champion Pitt. But it was more than a simple victory. It showed again the enthusiasm of a state for its number one football team. West Virginia football. Call it exciting. Call it thrilling. Call it special and unique and one of a kind. Call it the Mountaineer Experience.